everybody, it's Chris, and I am here to do a painting with you today using the Shelly art style. So um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I kind of got into the Shelly art style last year sometime, and I signed up for her class, and I have learned so much along the way um, in her class with the extra videos that she does for us, as well as um, on the Facebook group that I've mentioned in the past. So one of the new, um, if you watch any of our videos on YouTube, you probably have seen this, but one of the new styles of painting that she has come up with is called the pseudo swipe. So with the pseudo swipe, you add um, your pillow paint down and then you add tons of color on top of that and um, swipe your cell activator through it and you end up with this really beautiful, different looking painting. So today we're gonna do a pseudo swipe so I'm just gonna lay my colors out here real quick. I have some paints that were um, kind of getting a little bit old, if you will. So I've kind of brought them back to life with by adding some, this blue was one of my um, challenges today because it was quite thick. So I added some acrylic ink to it to try to bring it back to life as well as some of my GAC 800. And I even added a little bit of my pouring medium to it just to kind of bring it back and a little bit of water. I try not to add water to my pigments um, just because I feel like it really does kind of take the color out of them. But I knew that with this particular style of painting, I needed a lot of pigment on the surface and I kind of wanted to use up some of my older stuff. So um, just making sure that all of my Pigments are the same consistency so that we get a nice painting at the end. Um, so I'm using my Valspar 2000 pillow paint today. We're working on an eight by eight canvas. So I'm gonna start by putting a pillow of paint out first. And I wanna make sure that I have enough, but not so much that it's gonna dump all my color off. So you've also heard me mention that um, there is a Facebook group just for the people who have purchased the Shelly Art course. Um, I will put a code down below so that you can get 15% um, off of the course by using that coupon, as well as I'll put a link to the first video that I did that has all of my recipes. Now my pillow paint is just straight from the can. Um, I added just a tiny bit of water just to thin it out a tiny bit because I find that after it sits in the can a little while, it does kind of tend to thicken up. Um, my pouring medium recipe for my pigments, this is actually a um, Perlex Duo Red Blue. It's really beautiful. It looks pink and then when the light hits it, it has kind of that blue sheen to it. So I think this is really gonna be beautiful in this painting. I also have some golden high flow permanent violet dark. And this is a really, this is probably one of my favorite colors. Now I do add some of the metallic um, to it as well. So I have a lot of metallics. I think that's one of the prettiest things about this particular um, painting form. So I'm just gonna go ahead while I have this up here and I'm just gonna kind of add some color kind of randomly to the canvas here. And like I said, this takes a little bit more pigment than what we normally do for a bloom. Um, this is my Artist Loft Metallic Blue that I zhuzhed up with some metallic um, blue acrylic ink as well as a little bit of that GAC 800 to kind of get it to flow again. Now, I'm okay with having a little bit of white space because I personally love when the um, cell activator creates blacks um, or white cells really or rings around the white too. Um, this is my golden Azo Nickel Gold. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that over here too. And like I said, I'm not, I'm just kind of pouring random. I don't really have a pattern in mind. And then this is my yellow green. Um, I'm hoping that this isn't a mistake to put this on, but we're gonna find out. So sometimes you gotta kind of jump outside your box, I guess. And then this is that beautiful red green, that duo red green, or red blue, excuse me. So let's put that, I think we'll put that right here. And maybe a little bit over here. And I also have some interference blue that I thought might be kind of pretty to add into. So I've got that one mixed up right here. 
And I think we're gonna put that right down here and maybe swipe this across the color. So I'm just gonna kind of put a heavy line of it and swipe it, just like that. So you can see that I have a lot of color on here, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so the other thing I'm excited about that you guys haven't seen yet is I purchased a cake decorating turner, like a turntable, because um, I've seen some really cool things done with the Shelly Art um, in painting. And so I did purchase that, and along with that turner that I purchased off of Amazon, and I'll put a link down below to that as well in case you're interested, but it came with some tools, and one of the things it came with was a cake icer. So I'm thinking this is going to be perfect for this little technique. So I'm just going to go ahead and swipe this across just to kind of blend some of my colors together and wipe that off just a tiny bit. I wanted to get that interference blue up there and I think I probably went too heavy because now I've got my white on the top instead of the blue. And that's not exactly what I wanted to do. So let me see if maybe I can pull this back a tiny bit. There we go. Just kind of want to kind of meld those colors together a little bit so that I have a solid amount of color. And we'll see what we get here. I think I was a little too heavy handed with my cake icer. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is take my black cell activator and I'm gonna put that over here to the side where you probably won't be able to see it. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this out. And then I have a business card. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dip that into the cell activator and get a nice bit onto the card like this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start here and pull across the painting. Wipe it off. And I think we'll go this way this time. So just kind of doing a little bit of an abstract pull, if you will. I think I'll start over here though, because you notice that when I first put the cell activator down, it's quite heavy and really concentrated. And I don't want all of that concentration on one side of the painting, like down here where I've got it. So now I've got another little piece there. Look at those cool cells that are popping through, just rings of color. And I kind of feel like we might be good. I don't want a ton of it on there. I just want like some interest and kind of something to draw your eye to the cells. Let's put just a tiny bit. Um, I feel like I need something up here. And maybe what we can do is just pull and then lift, just like that. I think I want to do kind of the same thing right here. I have just a little bit of cell activator left and I don't want to I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to start right here and just pull out like that. And I know that's a bit of a harsh line, but I think as we tilt it, it'll come right out of it. All right, so I'm going to let this sit here for just for a minute and let those areas kind of do their little thing that I just did. Okay, guys. Um it is looking really cool. I really love how it looks and I kind of love all the color. I wasn't too sure about those color combinations. So hopefully it continues to be really cool when we're done. I've already got some paint spilling over on this side, but on the other sides, it's um, sticking right where I need it to, to go. I think I'm gonna dump off this way first. Um, in fact, I might just go ahead and kind of see if I can get the paint moving a bit and then maybe go off of my edges. Yeah, I think that's what I wanna do. So just kind of trying to get everything moving and kind of stretched out a bit so I don't have straight lines. All right, let's go ahead, since we have some paint right here, we're just gonna go off of the edge and kind of let that sink down. And then I want to go off of the opposite corner while I have the paint kind of in the middle-ish, if you will. I love how those cells look though. All right, just gonna go off of 
this corner and this edge down here. I don't want to tilt it so severe that I dump my paint off. I just want it to flow over the edges. And then I'm going to come back up to the middle. Look at that cool black and white stuff up there in that corner. We may end up losing it. We'll see. And then I'm going to come down here to this left corner. Oh my goodness, you guys, can you see the iridescent and the sparkles in that paint? Holy cow, that's amazing. Now I do want to try and get my lacing over the edge because if we get it over the edge, then it'll kind of hang on and stretch just like that. And then I'm going to go back up to this last corner. Now my cell activator was probably a couple of weeks old, but I don't like to waste stuff. So I did add some metallic black ink to it just to kind of bring a little life back to it. And you know what? I'm going to turn this just a little bit because I can't see that edge to know when I've got that site covered. So I'm just going to go ahead and I kind of, I don't want to lose that black that I have going on. So cool. But I have a feeling that it's probably going to go bye-bye. But maybe if I bring it back, I can stretch it back down and have a super cool corner up there. As long as it dripped far enough over to get that last edge. And I don't think it did. So let me see if I can run this paint off of the edge down here a little bit further. Like so. And let that hang there for a second. plenty of paint on here. I just don't want to lose that really cool corner I have going. All right. Now I feel like we could probably stretch this out a tiny bit more too because I don't love that upper left corner that I have going right now. The rest of it's really cool though. It's kind of pale looking in my opinion. So I'm going to see if I can stretch this down. Maybe get that lacing over the corner a little bit more and kind of run off some of that that's not so beautiful right now without losing all of my lacing on the bottom is the tricky part. We just go very slowly over the edge. Losing a little bit on the bottom there, but I'm hoping that it'll be worth it in the end. There we go, I just want that lacing to go over the edge. And then I'm just gonna let it stretch back down. Very interesting colors for sure. And it's interesting to me that how much the nickel azul gold changes when you put it in a painting. I really love this part of it. All right, I think that's pretty good. So, very interesting way of doing a painting, isn't it? So I think, I just love all the iridescent. I wish you guys could see it because it's like very cool on the camera right now um, in the video, but oh my goodness, if you could see this, I'm gonna see if I can take my camera out of the, um, out of the bracket and see if I can kind of get down and get an angle on this so you can see just how beautiful it is in with all of the iridescent that is in this painting. I think that's probably one of the reasons why I love this style so much is all of the iridescent and the bling that I love so much. All right guys, so that is a Shelly Art Pseudo Swipe. Um, just kind of a different way to get some really cool cells and some cool effects. I really love this corner down here and this one's really cool too. So hopefully um, I have some really nice lacing and webbing on the side as well. So hopefully that stays there. Um, got some really cool cells out of it too. So really kind of digging it. All right guys, I took my camera out of the holder and I've got a good view of that beautiful blue. Let's see if I can show you, see how that iridescent just comes through. So cool. I'd love for you to be able to see that purple, that magenta is so beautiful. But I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to capture it on camera. So 
let me kind of wait make my way over here and see if we can spy anything else the light just has to be perfect in order to capture that and unfortunately I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get the right angle on it but so beautiful there's that purple do you see the iridescent sheen in it and look at that cool corner with that webbing there we go that's a really good angle I love that azo gold and purple together. I think I may have to do another one of these. All right, guys, let me show you the whole thing again. And there we go. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.